blocks and their suitability. Last time we were discussing about stones and bricks and their suitability. So in today's lecture, we will be focusing on blocks and their suitability. Now, first of all, what is a hollow concrete block? This is hollow concrete block is one type of uh, a block. There could be even uh, other types of blocks. The first type and the most prominent one is the hollow concrete block. And what is this? It is a block which has got 25% or more area filled, unfilled, that's filled with air. So it's hollow. 25% or more of the area of this block is hollow or unfilled. When we talk about unfilled area, if I show you the figures, now this is a uh, block, this is a hollow concrete block. And uh, you will see that there are unfilled areas or the hollow uh, portions in these blocks. Now there could be different types of hollow concrete blocks with different types of uh, hollow portions in between. So there could be uh, two, three, four, six, or there could be eight or just three, or there could be smaller ones. These are three and then there are, then there are very small uh, rectangular or polygonal shaped sections here and then the blocks could be just tiled so there are various uh, types of hollow concrete blocks and these are tiled uh, hollow concrete blocks there is a very small hollow portion in between and rest of the uh, block itself is uh, tiled so at least it has got a 25% area, which is unfilled or hollow. Now there are different uh, sizes of hollow concrete blocks. Like for example, you have 39 centimeter cross, 19 centimeter cross, you know, 20 centimeter. This is one size. This means 39 centimeter is the length of the block. And 19 centimeter is the width of the block and 20 centimeter is the height of the block. Similarly, there could be 39 centimeter cross, 19 centimeter cross, 10 centimeter hollow concrete block. And you could also have 39 centimeter cross, 19 centimeter cross, 30 centimeter. Now this one, the third one is mostly used in construction, this one. This one is used in con construction purposes for construction of stone masonry. Sorry, hollow concrete masonry. Hollow concrete masonry, walls. So it's being used in the construction of walls mostly. This 10 centimeter thickness uh, one would be mostly used in tile work or cladding work uh, over the walls. It's in used in tile work or cladding. Or a grouper say wall cooper, you had to do the cladding, it would be used there. So this 20 centimeter one could be also used in the walls. Now this would be mostly used in the walls, 30 centimeter thickness one uh, for purposes uh, of load bearing uh, structures where the structural wall has to take the load itself. There is no column to take the load. There it, it is used uh, in the hollow concrete block designs. Now, what are the advantages of hollow concrete blocks? Uh, first of all, and the, what are the applications? Let, let me go to the applications first. The application for, uh, for example, it could be used for decorative purposes. For example, you are seeing here in this figure, these are hollow concrete uh, blocks. They have been used in, for different decorative purposes in the houses. So rather than first going into the mess, masonry portion, uh, I focus first on the uh, 
decorative purposes of these hollow concrete blocks. Then it, it's used in the construction of walls. So for example, this is a wall here, constructed of hollow concrete blocks, and there's a wall here as well. So it, it is used in the construction of walls, predominantly, prominently. Next, it's used in the construction of the, uh, the these are the retaining uh, structures for the soil. This is a retaining structure. It's used there. Again, it could be used for certain decorative purposes, which I was mentioning. And these are decorative purposes of hollow concrete blocks. Then it could be used for payments. For example, here, it's used in the payments and in the development of uh, small steps and in the payments. So it could serve that purpose as well. Finally, it's, we have to focus on the construction of the hollow concrete uh, walls for houses, house design. So this is a hollow concrete block uh, house design construction uh, where it's being ap applied, where its application is. But you must be seeing that there is, these are steel bars here. Jo, uh, if it's visible to you, these are steel bars going directly up to the top. So there is steel uh, within this hollow concrete block wall construction. Without this, uh, it has got no tensile strength. So in, in its suitability for house construction, we have to take into account that uh, the hollow concrete block does not take the tensile load. So uh, it's very weak in tensile load because it's made up of concrete and concrete is poor in tension. So we need to add the steel both vertically in order to prevent the uh, uh, structural uh, from cracking in the tensile and, and uh, the failure happening in the tensile mode. And secondly, we also have to provide, there will be layers kept beach mein. There would be tensile steel being provided at lintel level and as well as cell level. Because uh, again, the crack propagation in the hollow concrete blocks could happen and along the uh, both the planes, uh, outer plane as well as in plane. In plane means uh, along the direction of the wall and outer plane means like this. So we have to provide the steel both vertically as well as horizontally in the hollow block and construction. So there is this is one more example so of hollow concrete block construction and for walls. Now here you can see that uh, there is at the top there is a runner running parallel to the blocks and these blocks are also resting on the on, on this plinth below it. Now for, and then there is a lintel portion. At all three levels, there is hardly any connection between these. So a steel has to be provided through and through going here into this. Uh, similarly, the steel has to be provided at, at the lintel level as well. So you require uh, a steel in the layers, between the layers, you require the steel vertically as well. If you have to make a proper construction in hollow concrete block. Uh, apart from hollow concrete blocks, yes, there is one more example. This, one. if this is visible, so what I was saying is that this is the hollow concrete block construction again done in a structure, and you would be realizing that there are these connectors running here at the sto story levels. So it requires proper connections at every story level. So then you also require proper lintel being provided here. So hollow concrete block could be a good option in the construction, but it requires proper execution of the work. Now you can also run hollow concrete block construction along with cement um, or concrete mortar. 
and there are steel bars here running through and through through the hollow concrete blocks steel bars here at regular intervals you will be finding and mostly near the joints you will be finding the steel bars and run uh, vertical steel bars and then it's filled up it could also be filled up with concrete and jahan jahan par steel bars are such that there is a proper connection uh, happening within the uh, hollow concrete blocks now there are various other hollow concrete blocks which are uh, uh, like these one these are uh, the clay hollow concrete blocks these ones are the clay hollow concrete blocks they are made of perforated clay and or you also call them as perma uh, therm these ones now they are clay baked hollow concrete blocks these are not made up of concrete so, so you have hollow concrete blocks both of clay as well as of concrete now these ones are not that strong as are the con concrete hollow concrete blocks um, but they offer better uh, um, the uh, properties in terms of uh, appearance of the structure like you have here the appearance of the structure and you could be adding uh, concrete within it as well as providing steel sections now there are various uh, uh, patterns of uh, holes here uh, in different types of uh, these they are known as permatherms permatherm uh, clay uh, hollow blocks so the house constructed of these uh, mostly in the southern portions of india like in kerala and other places they have a very pleasing look a uh, reddish color to them um, and it's very easy to construct such uh, houses uh, and because it requires less workmanship and it requires less time to construct uh, such uh, houses in a very quick time now there are blocks which are uh, now these are advanced blocks of construction this is not uh, concrete this is not uh, clay this is uh, hemp h e m p now any one of you who does not know what is hemp let me show you what hemp. so it's an organic material thereby this one uh, this is an organic material this being made from the hemp plant and along with uh, using certain resins is got cast kiya jata hai in a mold and it has got lego like structure jo building blocks mein hote hain and through which they are actually joined uh, with each other now this this can be used in the partition walls and th these have got good properties i'll discuss those properties which are related to the thermal and uh, sound insulation properties although the strength of these walls is not much but it's light in weight and uh, you will have uh, such types of walls uh, without uh, and they 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 need not take the loads from the top so you will be providing such partition walls which uh, are not meant to take load can be made up of these they are very good in thermal insulation so this is about these uh, different types of uh, hollow concrete blocks and their applications kahan kahan par inko istemal kiya jata hai what is the suitability of each one of these now once we discuss this it's very important to discuss what are the advantages of hollow concrete blocks advantages as well as disadvantages So the first thing uh, that comes to my mind, it's a bit uh, in the advantage of the hollow concrete block. They say that the hollow concrete block is very easy to construct. So it's very easy to construct. So it's, it requires less amount of maintenance as well at the same time. and it requires less amount of maintenance it requires um 
there is one thing related to this, uh, uh, structures is that once the wall is constructed, it requires a lot of plastering. So a hollow concrete block because its uh, face is quite uh, smooth. So it requires less amount of plaster in construction. So plaster is not actually wa wasted while the construction of hollow concrete uh, block is done. What happens in brick uh, walls is that the face is not smooth and uh, because the bricks are not of uniform size, they cannot be cast in a uniform size. Thereby what happens in that? You do not get a proper uh, surface finish. So it requires a lot of uh, amount of plaster there. So there is a high amount of high degree of dimensional stability here. So the dimensions are clear. You know so the dimensions are clear of the wall. It does not require much amount of work to be done over that dimensions and to be, for example, the walls to be prepared. And once the wall has been made a particular size, then its bearing capacity and its load bearing capacity are more. Now, this is true, its load bearing capacity as well as its strength is more. This would be true once you have a hollow concrete block or a block made up of good material, which is uh, which uh, has been uh, taken through a process. What is the process of uh, construction of a hollow concrete block? Uh, First of all, a proper strength or a compressive strength of a hollow concrete block would be 2.4 to 4.0 Newton per mm square. That would be the compressive strength. As compared to brick, it's somewhere uh, similar. And brick could have from ranging from right from 2 Newton per mm square. It could go at the higher end towards 7 Newton per mm square, but not greater than that. So a hollow concrete block has got in the similar range, but the problem uh, lies whether the material that's being used in the construction of hollow concrete block, we are maintaining the standard and the quality during its construction, during its making. So there are various stages actually involved in the construction of the hollow concrete uh, block. And these are that first of all, you have to mold, prepare a mold, um, or a mixture. You have to take proper design mix of uh, the elements. Uh, that's cement, aggregates, and water. On cut proper design mix. Lena. Then you have to uh, make the. Um, so you you have to ensure, and it is properly cured. Uske baad usme pani dala gaya hai. Do teen hafte tak wait kiya gaya hai uh, before it is then being used in the construction purpose. But what usually happens that the strength quality is not uh, maintained in its construction, in its making in different places. Otherwise, it's a very good material. It's light in weight. This is another of its property. If it made up of good quality materials using proper design mix curing achi tarah se ki hai usme pressure uh, apply kiya gaya hai during its uh, making of the hollow concrete block it would be a good quality wall construction could be done from hollow concrete uh, these blocks however there is this clause that it you have to uh, ensure that it's made up of right materials not of poor materials usme dust use nahi ki gayi hai rather than sand you have to use sand not dust in in the making of the hollow concrete blocks so it has to be it would be cost effective because iska weight less hai just 1500 kg uh, per meter cube its weight is less so it's in terms of earthquake resistance 
वुड हैव वंडरफुल अर्थक्विक रेजिस्टेंस बिकॉज इट्स वेट इज लेस जितना कम वजन होता है उसमें उतनी एक्सलरेशन कम आ जाती है so because it's based on the uh, newton's uh, third law which is force uh, second which is the force is equal to mass into acceleration and to jitna usme mass kam hoga utni acceleration kam aa jati hai in a structure so its weight being less just 1500 kg per meter cube is its density and so we get a good earthquake resistant construction however the problem usually lies in our construction in जब हम टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ इसकी भूल जाते हैं किट्स एंड ड्यूरिंग अर्थक्विक इट फेल्स इन टेंसाइल मोड सो वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड स्टील इन हॉलो कंक्रीट ब्लॉक कंस्ट्रक्शन विदाउट स्टील यू कैन नॉट डिजाइन अ वॉल सो दोज ऑफ यू थ्रू सी दैट हॉलो कंक्रीट ब्लॉक इज बीइंग यूज्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स क्वालिटी शुड बी गुड सेकेंडली it should there should be steel provided in its construction so otherwise it has got good advantage like heat insulation kyunki isme hollow portion hai so it would insulate better than brick walls its properties sound insulation is good similarly it moisture absorption to them as compared to jo clay bricks hai jo humne रेड कलर के ब्रिक्स व्हाट वी कॉल एज ब्रिक किल्ड क्ले ब्रिक्स उसके मुकाबले में इसकी मॉइस्चर एब्जॉर्बन कम है सो इट हैज गॉट गुड वाटर रेजिस्टिंग प्रॉपर्टीज सो दीज आर एडवांटेज ऑफ हॉलो कंक्रीट ब्लॉक इज देर आर सर्टेन डिसएडवांटेज व्हिच आई टोल्ड यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू डोंट मेंटेन क्वालिटी देन इट इज वर्स देन द वर्स्ट clay brick as well so you have to maintain quality in its uh, construction during in, in its manufacturing and then construction so you have to maintain that steel is being used uh, within uh, the hollow block construction because it's weak in tension so other disadvantage could be that it has got a very uh, poor uh, bearing capacity at certain points because it's hollow and if you have a look at this yes this one so if you have a look at this uh, if there is a load somewhere here coming and a concentrated load aa jata hai ek hi jagah par sara load aa jata hai the hollow concrete block begins to crack at that portion why does it crack although it would have good strength is because its bearing capacity is low why is its bearing capacity low बिकॉज द एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट जो एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट है ना वो बहुत कम है इतना छोटा पोर्शन इसकी थिकनेस विच इज इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद समथिंग अबाउ इट सो एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट बींग लेस इट यूजली टेंस टू क्रैक ड्यू टू लेस एरिया इन कॉन्टैक्ट सो इट बियर्स आउट इट फेल्स इन बियरिंग सो दैट्स दैट्स अ प्रॉब्लम uh which is so and thereby in a brick wall which constructed in hollow concrete block you usually do not hang heavy objects over the wall you do not put a uh, load at a particular point ek hi point pe load nahi dete hain because it's and it's very dangerous then that it will start cracking at that particular point so you actually distribute the load over it rather than putting a load at one particular point over the hollow concrete blocks so we talked about the applications yes there are further applications like you have you could be using uh, then in load ding frame structures what is the loading frame structure it's a column beam arrangement wahan par zyada tar istemal kiya jata hai which is a framed structure let me framed structure uh, made up of hollow concrete blocks this is a column beam uh, columns and beams running these are made first and then the hollow concrete blocks are filled up in between so it's very good in these structures because there there is hardly any load to be taken by these blocks 
anyone who has to ask any question you can directly ask don't uh, do it in the chatting box then it could also be which i was telling you uh, i got this clear picture uh, this is the steel bars being filled through the uh, hollow concrete uh, blocks so even at the ends there are ties used to connect them these are steel ties used to connect them in uh, to provide proper joint and anchorage at the ends so very important that these things are done in the hollow concrete uh, block construction yes this could be hollow concrete blocks could be used in various other things apart from loading load frame structures it could be used in and development of shelters those of the construction of retaining walls tall buildings you could have warehouses being constructed you could have institutional buildings like hospitals being constructed so many things could be constructed in hollow concrete blocks but again ensuring the quality which i am stressing more and more about that and further its uh, strength needs to be checked uh, thirdly its size and shape and has to be ensured that it has got a proper size and shape of each hollow concrete block it has got a proper size and shape apart from buildings hollow concrete block is also used in pavements me dekha hoga aapne it could be used there in walkways to wahan par bhi istemal kiya ja sakta hai it could be used in making of fountains like those the art pieces तो वहां पर भी इस्तेमाल किया जा सकता है सो दीज आर दिस इज दूटेबिलिटी द एडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज एंड द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द फॉलो कंक्रीट ब्लॉक्स एंड आई आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द हीट इंसुलेशन एंड द साउंड इंसुलेशन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द फॉलो कंक्रीट ब्लॉक्स यस समबडी हैज अ 